Hi, my name is Jesse from Source Audio, and I am the creator of Hot Hand. Hot Hand is basically a three-axis accelerometer, and you can use it to control our effects or other people's effects as well. So an accelerometer is a small piece of silicon. It's machine silicon, so it's on a very small scale. Uh, you can picture a little plate sitting above another plate. And then as you move the thing around, there's it's sitting on little silicon springs, and it actually moves back and forth. So it's the same thing. If you tilted it this way, the thing would move this way. If you tilted it this way, it would move that way. Or if you shake it, it's going to move back and forth. And the pieces of silicon are sensed. The, the relative positions are sensed. And you can tell how much motion there is based on how it's moving. And so there's one, for a three-axis accelerometer, there's one going this way, one going this way, and then one going this way. The X direction, which is the one we use usually by default, is the one that goes along your arm like this and in this sort of direction. So any motion or any tilting in that direction is going to affect the signal. An accelerometer senses acceleration, so by tilting, you're just getting the force of gravity, which is an acceleration, the acceleration of gravity. And so you'll get sort of a, a set level by doing that. But also I can just move the the accelerometer along that direction and I'll get a response from it. And now it doesn't matter how I'm holding the ring, because if I'm still moving that direction, it's, it's going to have the same effect. So. The y-axis of the ring goes in this direction here. So now I can get the same effect that I was getting on X, but by turning my hand either this way, this way, or moving it this way. Again, it doesn't matter where I have the ring, what position I'm holding it, as long as I'm moving it along that direction relative to itself. So. And the last one is the z-axis, and the z-axis senses in the it senses in the up and down direction. Assuming that you're holding it flat, like this, it senses in this direction. So I'm still going to have to go, in order to get the full range if I was just tilting it, I'm still going to have to go like this, which is sort of similar to y. And now if I'm going to move it that way, and that might be useful for doing things sort of away from the guitar. So. so now I'm sensing in this direction because I'm still moving my hand that way. The hot end doesn't exactly replace an expression pedal, and the reason is because it's on your hand, and you're always going to be moving your hand while you're playing, likely. You know, you can't move a pedal as quickly, as nearly as fast as you can move your hand. So that makes hot hand, um, you know, a different option than an expression pedal. And also the expression pedal, those things that hot hand can't do, but, you know, they're both equally useful, I think. Not Ant 3 is a it's a little module that sits off to the side now and connects to our pedals via the, the sensor output here. And then additionally we added the expression output. Uh, for linking directly to any pedal that has an expression input pretty much. Because expression inputs are non-standardized, we have some switches that you can change the configuration and pretty much make it work with anything. We haven't found anything yet that it hasn't worked with. Um, and then additionally, um, when you're using it with the expression output, you need to be able to change the parameters a little bit. You need to be able to change the response of the ring so you can get the full range of the thing you're plugging it into. So that's why we added these two knobs here. The depth is basically how much range there is on what you're doing. And smoothing is filtering out all the fast stuff so it doesn't sound like it's too jittery and jumpy. So 
next for hot hand we have the the USB receiver here. And previously, if you wanted to get your hot hand signals into a computer, you'd have to go from the ring to a receiver to the MIDI XP into a, uh, a USB MIDI adapter. And now this is going to take it down to the ring, just talking directly to this guy, to this little receiver here. And when you plug this into your computer, it's going to look like a MIDI input port. But then it also comes with a piece of software where you can tune all the signals and uh, and set up a bunch of different scenes that you can use to control something like Ableton or Logic or Reason. There's all sorts of equipment that uses MIDI as a control protocol. So if you want to use it with lighting, we've had some guys do that, hooking up synthesizers and things like that. Uh, it's really pretty much wide open. I have gone to see plenty of electronic shows personally, and you know, when you see somebody just sitting there, sitting at their computer, it's not very engaging for the audience sometimes. So, I mean, the hot hand's going to give you the ability to have a dynamic control over something that you're doing. So instead of going down and tweaking a knob or pressing a button on your keyboard, you can actually be controlling something in midair in real time. All of our soundbox pedals have a sensor input on them, and the sensor input is uh, is what we use to plug the hot hand into. And the newest hot hand, as I was, as I was saying, the old one used to plug 